Hello everyone, we're now going to look at how to substitute into an expression. So here we have 3x squared plus 4y squared minus 3x and they want you to determine the value of x is 1 and y is 2. So what you do is you write down, you do something like this. Notice that wherever I see a x and a y, I'm using a bracket. And then you just put the numbers into the bracket. So x goes there and x goes over there and then the y value is 2 so that goes over there. You then just work this out so 1 to the power of 2 is the same as 1 times 1 so that's just going to equal 1. 2 to the power of 2 is 4 so that will just be plus 4 and then that will just be minus 3. Now this just becomes 3, 4 times 4 is 16 minus 3, 3 plus 16 is 19, and uh, 19 minus 3 is 16. So you could have used your calculator all along. So for example, you could have done this part on your calculator, and then you write the answer there. You could have done this on your calculator, and you write the answer there. And then, and then this you can do on the calculator, this you can do on the calculator. As long as you're showing your teacher the smaller steps, then it's fine. You can use your calculator. Here's another one. So all you do is you write everything down. You open up brackets wherever you see a x and a y, but you don't change anything else like that. If you do it like that, you will get this correct. Now x is 2. So wherever there was an x, you just go replace it with a 2, and y is minus 2. Now use your calculator and do smaller parts. So you can type that in on the calculator. That'll give you 4. This is just 2 times 2. So that 2 is a bit high up there. It's down there, so that's 4. And then you can type in this part on your calculator. So that's going to be, mi um, that's minus over there. So I'm putting a minus over there. And then this part, if you do it on the calculator, it becomes minus 16. Now this you can type in the calculator. That's minus 12. A minus and a minus, that's just a plus if they're next to each other. And now you can do the smaller parts in the calculator. So you say minus 12 plus 4, that's minus 8. And then you type in minus 8 plus 16, and that is 8. So here's another one. So now we've got x, y, and z. So you open up a bracket for each letter. x is 1, so I just fill that in there. y is minus 2, and z is minus 3. And so this you can simply type in on the calculator. Um, it's just going to give you negative 12. Have a go at this one. So wherever you see x's and y's, you can just use a little bracket. So there I see an x. I'm going to use a bracket. Here I've got a little bracket within the bigger bracket. And so I'll do that. And then at the bottom, you just open up a bracket wherever you see an x or a y. And there we go. That's the difficult part. Notice what I did, I literally, wherever I saw an X, I just put a bracket. Okay, you see that? And then also where you see a Y. Now X is 1, so you just go fill that in. And then Y is 2, so you just fill that in. Now you use the calculator, so this part you can just type in on the calculator, and that's just going to give you minus 1. Oh, I've left out a 1 here. So this part inside the bracket is 1 minus 1, which is 0. And so that's just going to be 3 times 0, which is 0. This part here is just 1 times 1, which is 1. This part is 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. And so we end up with minus 1 at the top and 5 at the bottom. And that's the answer. So here's the last one. So x is 2 and y is minus 2. So you just rewrite everything. And wherever you see an x or y, you just put a bracket. So notice that this bracket is already there, So and then for the x, I need another bracket on the inside. There we go, plus 4. Then I've got a bracket here. Now I don't put the 2 inside the bracket. It's, the bracket is just for the x. And then I've got a bracket for the y, another bracket, and another bracket squared. Okay, so now I fill in x's, in the pl in, or 2 in the place of x. So that was there, there, and there, oh, and there and then minus 2 for the y. So that will be this one and this one. Easy as that. Now here you can do this part on the calculator and that would give you 4. So that's going to be minus 3 times 4 minus 6. Now inside this bracket it's just 2 plus 4 so that just becomes a 6. And then at the bottom well that just becomes a 4. So you just want to show your teacher the smaller steps. So that part there became a 4 
and then this is just plus 2. Then this part you can type in the calculator, but always type it in the way you see it on the calculator. So don't type in minus 2 squared because it's in a bracket and that becomes 4. So that's going to be minus and then this whole part here became a 4. But if you didn't use a bracket, the calculator would have told you minus 4, and then you're going to get it all wrong. So type it in the way you see it on the calculator. Now we can do little steps some more, so that's going to be minus 12. This will be minus 36. This is minus 8. Plus 2, minus 4. Type this in on the calculator, that's minus 48. Minus 8 plus 2 is going to be minus 6. And then at the bottom, minus 6 minus 4, you can type that in the calculator, and that's minus 10. Then to simplify this, you can type all of this on the calculator. And that will give you 24 over 5, because it will simplify. So make use of the calculator. Just do it in small steps. You don't want to type the whole sum in on the calculator, but just show your steps.